Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So students, now we are going to discuss the fractional distillation of ideal mixture of two liquids. What is fractional distillation? Fractional distillation is a technique in which components of a mixer are separated on the basis of their respective boiling points. So it is a mixer separation technique actually. Ideal mixer, ideal mixers are the actually ideal solutions and here we are again going to discuss the liquid liquid solutions means two liquids are mixed and we have obtained an ideal solution if you do not have idea what is an ideal solution please watch my lecture of the Rhodes law first now we have mixed two liquids and these two liquids after mixing they have made an ideal solution suppose that we have mixed a and B components A is a liquid and B is also a liquid and we have mixed them together to form an ideal solution now these liquids are mixed and we want to separate them by fractional distillation how can we separate them we want to separate again A and B in the pure state then how can we separate by the fractional distillation is it possible to separate them completely or it is is it not possible so we are going to discuss in this particular lecture a component is more volatile than b a and b both are liquids but a has more volatility as compared to the b component and we have mixed them and an ideal solution is obtained when we study different ideal solutions of the a and b having different percentages of a and b for example at this point b is pure without a and at this point b is not present and a is present in the pure state while in this complete range we have different solutions or different mixers of a and b having different composition there is a mixer in which 10 percent a and 90 percent b is present then there is a mixer in which both are present in a ratio 50 50 percent then there is a mixer in which b is present 10 percent and a is 90 percent so this axis actually shows the range of the different solutions with the different composition with respect to the percentage of a and b now because a is more volatile so its boiling point is lesser this is the point which shows the boiling point of a and b is less volatile so its boiling point is higher and you know when the liquids boil there are two phases that exist one is the vapor state and other is the liquid state so this one is the curve which is obtained for the vapor state and this one is the curve which is obtained for the liquid state and this graph is made by studying the mixture of a and b at the different compositions we have studied mixer with a10 b90 we have studied a mixer having both 50 50 we have studied a mixer having a 90 b10 so different compositions were studied and this graph was drawn and this lower curve is for the liquid state of these two mixers at y axis we have taken temperature in degree celsius now listen very carefully we have selected a temperature x at this temperature x when we will heat this mixer in the liquid state what will be the composition of the mixer b will be almost 90 percent and a will be almost 10 percent but at the same temperature x when we will be looking the composition of the vapor form of this solution then a will be b will be almost you can say 30 percent and a is almost 70 percent simplifying it simplifying it at the temperature x when we study the composition of liquid b is in high quantity a is in low quantity but at the same temperature when we study the vapors at the same temperature in the vapor state b is present in less quantity and a is present in the higher quantity so at the same temperature the composition of the liquid form of that mixer and the vapors of its vapors they are different suppose that this one is a mixer of a and b 
at a particular temperature x we heat this mixer at a particular temperature x and when we will be heating this liquid one will be the liquid portion of that solution and other will be the vapor portion of that solution and the vapors will be collected above the liquid so at the temperature x what is the composition of this liquid part of the mixer that is 90 10 and what is the composition of its vapor part that is 30 70 it means at the same temperature the composition in the liquid state and the composition in the vapor state they, that is different from each other and such kind of mixers that have different composition of its vapor and liquid state at the same temperature they are called as zeotropic mixers Now listen very carefully that the liquid has higher quantity of B, lower quantity of A, but the vapors have high quantity of A and low quantity of B. So it means most of the A has moved to the vapor state and most of the B is present in the liquid state. When you will again condense this vapor form having 30% B and 70% A when you will condense it and you will redistill it what will be the result in that liquid B will be 30% A will be 70% but when you will distill that liquid of the composition 30% B and 70% A what will be the result think about it I think that in that vapor state B will be present in even less quantity, even lesser quantity and A will be present in very high quantity. If that liquid has 30% B and 70% A, then its vapor form will be having almost 90% A and 10% B. So most of the A that has moved to the vapor state and then you will redistill that liquid having B. 10% and A 90% that liquid when it will be distilled its vapor form will consist of all A pure component because when you will take a liquid and you will distill it in the liquid state B will be high A will be low but in vapor state A will be in the higher proportion and when these vapors are condensed and they are converted to liquid state and that liquid is again distilled its vapors will be having even higher quantity of A and lower quantity of the B and in this way you will take the vapors you will condense them to the liquid and you will keep on distilling them till all A and B they get separated so the ideal solutions the components of the ideal solutions they can be completely separated by using the technique of the fractional distillation these are zeotropic mixer but there are some non ideal solution that show positive deviation and negative deviation from the Rolle's law when you distill them their composition in liquid and vapor state does not appreciably change so their components cannot be completely separated by the fractional distillation and those non ideal mixers that's why they are called as the azeotropic mixers so this was the zeotropic and azeotropic mixer listen this lecture very carefully because this is a very technical part that at temperature x liquid has more quantity of b lesser quantity of a but at the same temperature its vapor form has less quantity of B A and greater quantity of the A and when this vapor state will be condensed it will be redistilled then even that vapor state will be having very low B and very high A and in this way B will keep on decreasing A will keep on increasing in the vapor state and both will get separated from each other it was all about the fractional distillation of the ideal solutions thank you